Hello. Today we're going to look at test triggers integration with the Zephyr module for Jira. We start off with test rigger and let's go from test rigger into settings, integrations, and then not Jira here, but we're going to scroll down till we see Zephyr. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to enable our Zephyr integration and I need to fill it up with this data. But where do I get this data? The web address, the Jira project key, and the Zephyr API key. Well, let's go over to Jira. Once within Jira, uh, the things that I need will be available to me in the URL up here. So let's go ahead and go to the project. In this case, the project is Scrum Team ST. ST is the project, actually. Now that I'm in the project, we look at this URL here for the two thing, two of the items that we need. First thing we need is the base URL. That's what this is here. We have the base URL and then the project ID, which would be this, ST. We need one other item, and that we get by going over to this right here and clicking on Zephyr Scale API Access Token. Now I get the access token by clicking on Create Access Token. Once I do, a pop up window will appear, and that pop up window generates a brand new access token. I cannot see it. All right. But and once this window closes, I will have no way of accessing it. So what you want to do is you want to copy this and then place it somewhere secure. Because again, once this window goes away, we're not going to be able to access it. So I have those three things. I have the base URL. And I have the project ID. Actually, let's go back to my project. Okay, so I have the base URL, which is this. I have the project ID, and then I have my access token. Let's go into test rigor, and I will place those items here. Base URL, the project key, and here's my Zephyr API key. There's two other things that you need to be aware of. One is the flavor of Zephyr that you're using. In this case, it's Zephyr Scale for Jira. And we have several different things there, but I'm going to leave that alone. The other thing is, how do you want to track your test cases between releases? Well, in this instance, I want to use the project test case repository, but I could, if I wanted to, use the global test case repository. Once I've set all of these things up, Click Confirm Release Change and update your test, your test case links. Don't forget to press the Save button over here. All right, so I've done all of that. I'm now ready to do, to, to do test cases. But before I can actually do a test case, I need to go back to the Zephyr module within Jira. So here I am back in Jira. And one of the things I'm going to do is I want to go to projects. I've selected my project on the left hand side here. Click Zephyr scale. And boom, it now shows me all the particulars of my project. In this instance, here are the different test cases that I have. If I I've when I select test cases here, test cycles would be the executions of those test cases. Here are all the test cases that I ran. Then we have something for test plans and reports, but let's go back to test cases. Before I can actually link one of my test cases to test rigor, I must create the test case within Jira. So I create the test case and I've created a new one called delete me. Now that I've created a test case, Let's go over to test rigor. And in test rigor, I would 
go through and link, I make a brand new test case and then link that test case to the one that's within Zephyr. And I, let's go to test cases. Here are my test cases. I see that to the left of each test case, I now have, because I'm linked to Zephyr, I have the Zephyr uh, label. This is a test case that's currently linked. This one is also linked. Actually, this one is um, this one is not linked. Okay, uh, so I'd like to link this test case to one of the test cases that I've created in in Zephyr. And what I would do is click the change button. It gives us a drop down list case, list box. And if I click on this, here are the test cases that I have within Jira for the Zephyr module. So in this instance, I would click the delete me and then save and voila, I'm now connected. By the way, if I go back to the Zephyr module within Jira and I click test cycles and I select one of these test cases, I can see in this area right here particulars about the test run. So I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. This is the area right here, the comment that test rigor puts into Jira. And in this instance, I see that this one failed. Failed DD. Actually, it didn't fail. That's just a step that says we want to intentionally fail. And I can see the actual run by clicking on this link. Now, these are all the different items within the Zephyr module, but the comment has what we're actually looking for. So if I open this link here by clicking on it, or in this case, right clicking in an open link in new window, it brings up the test rigor interface with the execution log for this test case. All right. I'm now integrated into JIRA, and that is how we do it. Thank you very much.